tips and tricks. And today's video isn't going to be so much how to draw in Corel, but it is going to be a little bit so you you might want to watch if you're not a woodworker or a metal worker. And I'm a woodworker and a metal worker and a laser engraver. But when you're cutting angles, and this is how Corel Draw can help you, so you might want to stay tuned. This is a wood cutting miter saw. It cuts 60 degrees to one angle and 50 to the other. So 60 to the, the right and 50 to the left. Uh, the standard used to be 45 and 45. Well, they finally increased that over the years. But I don't know of a metal chop saw that will cut beyond 45 degrees. And there's really, it's kind of unique because you really don't need to cut past 45 degrees if your angle is 50 degrees. And I'll show you that in just a second. But this is a metal cutting chop saw. So with that said, I'm, I'm making a, a table for a, a lady and it's going to be 30 inches off the ground and she wanted X legs that are made out of steel. So this is how Corel has helped me tremendously. I mean, I, I couldn't, I don't think I could have ever done it on paper. So you, you know, you've got the, let's put an index line down here. I've moved some things around and, and then use your parallel dimension tool and go from there to there. And she wanted it 30 inches off the ground. So I'm 30 inches off the ground. And this is my, the red lines are my metal. So I'm making a metal frame that's going all the way around this table. By the way, this is a really big table. It's 111 inches long and I think 37 and a quarter inches wide. But she wanted it 30, off, 30 inches off the ground. So this is how Corel Draws helped me because I was able to take the pieces and not only Corel Draw helped me, it actually helped, made the laser help me. So this is how I use the laser in my shop. So let's make a duplicate of this. And let's just move it over here. And let's take, let's ungroup it. So go up to object, group, and ungroup. And let's take away this top bar. That's be my wood top. This would be my frame. So also I was, I was able to see, to make sure, you know, I made the frame to fit inside the table. This is the inside dimension of the inside of my frame. So I know my legs are going to fit up in the hole. So that helped me tremendously. But what's really good about this in Corel Draw is I was able to make a template. So let's make another duplicate of this. Control D. Let's move it over here. Now let's use our virtual segment delete key and let's delete these lines. And you notice that the, the indexing lines stop you from deleting lines. So let's just do this. So I've got my one. So one of my pieces are going to be a straight piece of steel. The other one is going to be two pieces. So now let's cut, let's cut this side apart. So there are my three pieces I need for each side of the leg. So I, not only am I going to know my, so I was able to angle this so it would be, you know, not sticking so people would hit it with their feet. I was able to figure it out. And then, so I made these angles, but what are these angles? You need to know that. So you need to, and you need to know the length and the, the width of, or not the width, but the, the length of your cut and your angles. So let's just take this piece. I've already got rid of already, already over here. Now this is where it's a little bit confusing for a lot of people. There's two ways you could do this. One would be to straight take a two line pointer, hold down your control button. Well, that didn't work very well. Hold down your control button, double click it, move your rotation over to there, and then get back to my pick tool. Your rotation's there, so you can move it up. Well, I've got 50 degrees. Well, your metal chop saw won't cut 50 degrees. But there's only 90 degrees in that circle. So now let's use the parallel dimension tool or the angular dimension tool. And let's do a, uh, 
just hold down your control button it'll draw a straight line then just move it up so you've got 50 degrees and I'm not gonna for the video I'm not gonna get exactly and it just happened to be exactly 50 degrees and I'm gonna tell you if you're a metal worker uh, 50.32 is fine because you're gonna weld it anyway but this one actually happened to be 50 degrees so you can't cut 50 degrees on your chop saw well you can but you need to do here hold down your control button get your angular dimension tool hold down your control button so you draw a straight line and then move it over that angle is really only 40 degrees voila there's your cut you know it's, it's 40 and 50 is 90 degrees and you go well I can't cut 50 degrees well you can cut 40 degrees now I'm gonna actually make this a two-part video uh, so they won't be so long and I'll just show you something so if you want to stay tuned part two so I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching